Hi, my name is Barbie Flanagan. Welcome to True Crime Terror Tales. If this is your first time here, please like, subscribe, leave comments, and lots of ideas. Today we're talking about one of my favorite documentaries. It's called Paris is Burning, and it delves into the gay ballroom competitions in the late 80s. One of its breakout stars died a few years after the film's release, and that's where the real mystery began. The documentary Paris is Burning burned through the theaters in 1990. It captured audiences with an inside view of the New York oh, underground gay late. ball competitions, introducing us to the incredible Vogue dance style. Dorian Corey. Dorian Corey was a drag queen who helped start and dominated the balls. She graduated from Parsons School of Design and knew how to make unique, one-of-a-kind gowns that landed her dozens of awards. Dorian became an international star due to the film's popularity. She's best known for describing Shade. Shade is, I don't tell you you're ugly, but I don't have to tell you because you know you're ugly. And that's she. Dorian had been performing in drag since the 1950s. Now in her 50s, she finally gotten the fame she'd always craved. But it didn't last long. Just three years after Paris's burning introduced Dorian to the world, the beloved diva died from AIDS-related complications. Lois Taylor took care of Dorian during her last days. Since Lois was a fellow drag queen, Dorian told her to make use of her costumes or sell them. October 1993, two months after Dorian's death, Lois brought two male customers to Dorian's apartment. They went through the fabric, beads, feathers, and sequins. Finally, they spotted a huge green garment bag in Dorian's closet. It was too heavy to move, so they cut it open with a pair of scissors. And the stench of Dorian's secret pass hit them in the face. Police answered their call and began to peel back the layers of Dorian's sordid history. The body was in the fetal position and wrapped in naga hide, a faux leather popular in the 1960s. There were also layers of plastic. Dorian had poured baking soda on the body to mask the smell. All of these chemicals partially mummified the corpse. Most of the man's brown skin had turned purple and yellow. Decomposition liquids were inside the wrappings. It was a horrible sight and a disgusting smell. The victim wore raggedy blue and white boxers, and he had a bullet in his head. It's hard to believe that Dorian had a dead man in her closet while the film crew was at her apartment. In fact, police said she moved from one Harlem apartment to another and took the corpse along with her. So Dorian owned a clothing line and had countless people over for fittings. As a mother figure to many young gay men, Dorian often let them stay in her apartment with her and the dead victim. Nobody ever smelled or suspected a thing. The burning questions are, who was the man? Why was he killed? And why was he in the closet for God knows how long? The coroner provided some answers. He used his own special technique to pull fingerprints off the corpse. The victim was Robert Bobby Worley, born December 1st, 1938. Bobby was known as a troublemaker, convicted of sexual assault in 1963. He served three years in prison. Bobby had been estranged from his family and no one had seen or heard from him since the mid to late 1960s. Investigators believe that Bobby and Dorian were lovers and the affair had turned violent. A former doorman confirmed that Bobby used to visit Dorian a lot. Dorian's neighbors from that time told police they often heard Dorian yelling and fighting with someone in her apartment. Bobby was a felon and had a violent history. Perhaps Dorian shot Bobby in self-defense. The only problem is that Dorian shot him in the back of the head. Why did they fight so much? There's speculation that Bobby wanted Dorian to get sex reassignment surgery. You see, Dorian was a man with breast implants. Have you had a sex change? Mm -mm. No. no, 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 no but one. You don't want one? Mm -mm. No. For what? Too late now. Well, but you want the breasts. That was for stage. Bobby's family thinks this theory is correct. His brother said he received a drunk phone call from Bobby. He had misdialed and used the name Dorian while hurling insults and threats. 
There are rumors that while at the hospital, Dorian confessed while under heavy medication that she had shot someone, but her friends blamed it on the drugs and pain. Another rumor is that before her illness, she written about a character similar to herself that committed murder because her lover wanted her to get a sex change. Investigators never found the story which a friend said had been written on paper. Dorian's secret was never revealed because no one was looking for Bobby, not his family, nor authorities. Despite the fact that Dorian, well, killed a man, she remains revered in her community. The annual Dorian Corey Ball continues and her witty remarks live on. Was it murder or was it self-defense? I guess we'll never know. If you watch the show Pose, season two, third episode is based on Dorian. If you want to see Paris is Burning and I do recommend it, please check it out on Netflix and let me know if you like it. Once again, thank you so much for joining us and you have a great day. See you next time.